everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Holly Matthews and I am a speaker, I am a self-development coach and I'm the founder of the Happy Me Project. Plus, I'm a mom of two girls, Brooke who's nine and Texas who is seven. In today's, I was gonna say episode, is it an episode? It is an episode, in today's episode, video, whatever, I'm gonna tell you two words that are going to change your life. Two words, that's it. They're gonna shift how you see things. The first word is actually something that my daughters get taught at school to say and I say it to them as well and so there's a synergy, all is good, the school is doing good stuff and um, the word is yet. So every time we hear our minds go in some kind of like negative rampage and we want to tell ourselves we're not good enough, we can't do something. We're not enough in whatever form that takes and we say things to ourselves like I can't do that, I can't do it. I'll never pass my driving test. I'll never pass that exam. I can't, I can't do this. I say, my kids say it a lot, right? They'll say, I can't, I know, can't do the time. I can't tie my shoelaces, whatever. But we do it as adults as well. I can't do that, you know, I can't do stuff like that. I used to say, I can't do maths. Of course I can do maths. Might not be my strongest thing, but of course I can do maths, but I used to say that. So I want you to add the word yet onto the end of any of those kind of can't sentences. Because when we say I can't do something, our brain goes, okay, that's just done and dusted then. We're done here, we're done here. We're gonna move on, because um, Holly can't do that. So it doesn't look for ways to be able to do it. But if you say, I can't do that yet, then your brain's like on alert. Oh, okay, so we're gonna learn to do that thing. We're gonna work that out. We're gonna work through this. That's what's happening inside your brain. You can insert your own voice, I don't know what it sounds like inside your brain, that's what it sounds like inside mine. And the next word, I'm going to gift you. I'm gonna gift you this word. And this is a really important one actually, this is a very good one for when you are in a space of, again, just the noise of the negativity is coming out and you're, you, you hear your brain just running through and moaning and groaning and whinging about the things that you've gotta do or the things that um, you know you don't really, let's say you wake up in the morning, you might think, oh, for God's sake, I've gotta to go to work. Or, oh, I've gotta go make the kids breakfast, I've gotta do the washing, I've gotta do this, Blah. right? We do this, right? So I'm gonna give you this word, and it's get. Not I've got to do the thing, I get to. One of my worst jobs, one of the ones I just like doing the most, is taking the bins out. Hate it. My husband used to do that job, and he's not alive anymore, and he can't do that job. It's annoying. How dare he go and die when I needed him to take the bins out? I mean, being flippant, obviously, because that's what happens when your husband dies. You get really flippant about life and death. I'm joking. But this, on a serious note, I hate the bins going out, right? So I can hear myself moaning when I have to take the bins out. And I can hear myself, oh, I don't want to do that. Meh. But I have to shift it. So we use the word get to shift and reframe our minds. I get to take the bins out. Now what that does is it makes me think, well, what does it mean? I get to take the bins out, which means... I've got a full bin, which means that I had enough food, likely, and stuff to be able to fill a bin, which means that I ate, which means that, and I have a bin that comes from a house. I have to put it outside on the road, which means I live in a house. And I have a home that requires a bin. And I get to take that bin out because I have all of those things and all of those things to feel grateful for in my life. When you mourn about, I don't know, the kids and having to do their breakfast and stuff like that, you remind yourself, I get to do my children's breakfast. I'm able to be there to make their breakfast. I'm able to have children. I, at some point, maybe had a partner to make a baby, or maybe not, that doesn't necessarily work out, but maybe you do, and so then you feel grateful for your partner. And just putting the word get into the things that you find yourself moaning about really helps us to reframe and shift the things that are going on in our lives. That's all it's about, right? Rubbish stuff happens, good stuff happens. We've just got to get on top of our minds. To just give it a little bit of a helping hand. So use the yet and get system and then comment in the comments below and let me know if that was like a mind blown for you because it really does help me and I've heard that those loads of times before but sometimes you just need to hear it again right so tell me what you get to do today and tell me all of the things that you are you can't do now yet 
and uh, let me know how you're getting on and I look forward to hearing all of your comments. Thank you for supporting this channel. Make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. I'm going to be giving lots of content on this channel as always. You can also hang out in my Facebook group which the links are available below and loads of good stuff is happening in there as well. So you should come and hang out. Peace!